Um, oh my gosh, I almost said with Newlywed with Sean and Kieran. Um, hey guys, it's Kieran with Thrifted Living. Um, that's so weird to say because uh, if you're new to our channel, oh my gosh, if you're new to my channel, uh, recently I just changed the name from Newlywed with Sean and Kieran to Thrifted Living. My husband and I had started this channel. We were hoping it would be a way to keep in touch with family and friends, and he kind of just wasn't as interested in it as I turned out to be, so. Um, just a couple days ago, we actually separated on YouTube formally. Um, I'll link the video below, so if you want to check that out, um, you can see that. So, today is garage sale haul number 15. Um, right now I'm recording in the bedroom, and I guess I have to, you know, put something on the wall because it's kind of bland. Um, I had actually just recorded the whole garage sale haul, and then I realized that my finger was covering the microphone. So I'm going to record it again really quickly so you guys can see um, the stuff I got. Um, this has kind of been a, a collection of things for the past several weeks, um, and so I'm excited to show you guys these things because I've been kind of keeping them um, for the past few weeks without recording. So this is probably going to be the last garage sale haul for the season. They will start up again next year, probably in the spring at some point. Um, but the season's kind of ending, it's time to you know, have fall activities, and not as many people are cleaning out their houses and getting rid of stuff. So, um, I might hit a few more garage sales. Um, I think there's a, a citywide next week, and we'll see if there's anything good there. But this will more than likely probably be the last haul that I do for garage sales. Um, I'm going to be switching to thrift shop hauls, and I'm really excited about that because, you know, thrift shops have a whole variety of things that, um, you know, maybe garage sales don't have as much. So I'm really, really excited to do that. And um, let's just get to it. Let me show you some of the stuff that I got um, over the past few weeks. This first thing was a gift from my mom and my sisters when we moved into our house. And it's a Charlie Brown Great Stakes Shake, Roll, and Match dice game. And it's really cute. My kids have shown an interest in Snoopy because and when I say my kids, I mean my students, have shown an interest in Snoopy because my grandmother donated a, a whole Snoopy Charlie Brown encyclopedia set for my classroom, and I actually was able to use it in a few lessons. So they love, love Snoopy. So um, my mom found this at a, I think it was, it's an antique store that's going out of business. So she found that. She knows that I love Snoopy for my classroom. So she picked it up for me, and it's really sweet. And there are some directions on the back. And it's in really good condition. Looks like all the pieces are there, so I'm really excited to maybe play this with my kids if we have time. This next thing I didn't get at garage sales, I got it at the Goodwill, but it's this really pretty display for um, what I think it was for milk cartons, like milk, like glass milk jugs at one point. Um, but I want to use it and I want to take like glasses, use glasses, and then put silverware in them and use it like as a way to carry like the silverware to the table. <laughs> I'm like showing you how I carry it. Um, as a way to carry silverware to like the table, we have an outdoor eating space. So I think this would look really cute like on the table with like either plastic silverware or you know metal silverware in it. And I think it was, it was $2.99. So I think that's really pretty. And my mom and my sisters didn't want me to get it, but then I got it anyway. I seem to always pick up um, mirrors whenever I see them because I think we have a small house and I think that mirrors make your space look bigger. So I found these three mirrors, whoa, three mirrors at a garage sale and I really liked them because they have like a gray trim um, and they almost look like, um, like, like, what's the word I'm looking for? They look like stained by the sun, lightened by the sun. I'm not using the word right. But I think they're really pretty and they're like faded. That's the word I was looking for, faded. They're like faded and neutral and um, I really like them. And they were 50 cents a piece, which is a really good deal because even at the dollar store, it's going to be a dollar. Pumpkin. I'm really excited about this guy. This is my first piece of uh, fall decor that I am going, I'm getting ready to put him out. Obviously I can't put them out yet because I really think you should wait until October to put out the like Halloween stuff, but um, he's this really pretty like ceramic pumpkin. As you can see, he's got like a spot in there for candles, he's got a top, and he's really big. Like, I have a big head, but 
he has a really big head, and um, it was only 50 cents. It was at, um, I found him at an estate sale. Is he broken? No. Just looks like it. Excuse me, I found him at an estate sale, and I really like him because, like, the finish on it, it's hard to tell. Yeah, you can see it. It's like speckled, so it kind of looks like a more realistic pumpkin, so I was really excited when I found him. The last thing I found, I found quite a while ago, and I hadn't posted it because it was going to be a gift for my older sister, Keely, and so I gave it to her and she loved it, and I'm actually going to be keeping it while she's in Ireland because she really has no reason to bring it over to Ireland. But I found it at the same sale that I found the McDonald's Happy Meal toys from the 90s at. So, let me show you. Okay, so... I find that like not a lot of people know about this show, but the show is called um, Lady Lovely Locks, and it's about these three girls, and they have long, lovely locks, and inside of their hair they have little woodland creatures, and the woodland creatures have tails that are different colors, and so um, they become like streaks of color in their hair, and my sister and I loved this show. My little sister wasn't born when we watched it because I think... If you see up on the top, I think it says copyright 1987. Yeah, it says 1987. So my little sister wasn't born when we were watching this show. But um, Keely and I always loved this show. And for the longest time, we couldn't remember the name of it. We had like a vivid image of what happened in the show and what the characters looked like, but we couldn't remember the name of it. And we fi when we finally realized it, it was like, oh, thank goodness, because it was driving us crazy. So, um... We re I, when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get this for my sister because she's going to feel so nostalgic when she sees it. And um, she really loved it. So a funny story about this show, though, we had these coloring books that were not really coloring books. They were more like watercolor books. Like they had watercolors like infused in the paper. And all you did was you took a wet brush and then you just painted on it you painted the water on the on the paper and that like colored it so you really would never get it wrong because it had had already colored it for you so my sister and I we would grab the coloring book when we were like going to take a trip in the car and we wanted to color in the coloring book but then we'd open it and we realized it was like a painting book so instead of just coloring over it we got the grand idea to lick the coloring book lick the painting book so we'd be sitting back there like licking this book. Our parents got so upset with us because it's probably not something that little kids are supposed to be ingesting. And then we'd have like paint all over our faces and our tongues and stuff like that. So um, we were really creative when we were kids. So that's just a funny story about this, this show and these characters. So I was really excited when I found that. The next few things I want to show you are like home decor and like larger items. So I'm going to take you guys outside to the breezeway and the garage to show those to you. So just a second. So the next thing I want to show you guys is this like DVD CD holder. I think that's what it was originally used for. Um, let's see if I can turn it. Whoa, I'm trying to reach out for it. So you see it spins. It's filthy right now. But um, it spins and it's not too terribly wobbly. And I really liked it, number one, because it was only five bucks, but also because it has like a really nice wood finish. And originally I was thinking about using this in my classroom, but it kind of doesn't really fit in with anything else that I have in there. So I haven't really figured out a use for it yet, but I'm super excited that I got it and I need to clean it up and then it will be used somehow in our home. The next thing I want to show you guys is in the garage, so I apologize if it, the quality is a little not if the quality is lacking a little bit um but it is this carpet that I got at a garage sale for five dollars and it's this really pretty like cream color and I'm thinking about using this um I was actually thinking about bringing it into my classroom maybe using it under like my big kid desks um I think it's the surface area is a little too small for that but we're thinking about pulling up the carpet in um the crafting slash spare bedroom so I was thinking this would be a perfect carpet for in there um, and it's a really good quality and it's a really pretty color and it has like no stains on it so I was really excited to find it for five bucks.
So thank you so much for checking out garage sale haul number 15. So just a quick recap, this is probably going to be the last garage sale haul for the season because it's starting to get cold. Well, not really, but you know, fall is coming and there aren't as many sales. So this will probably be the last um, garage sale haul. But I wanted to tell you guys something really exciting. The past two days I have hit three different Salvation Armies and I completely organized my um, teacher wardrobe. I have a completely thrifted teacher wardrobe that I want to share with you guys in a haul. So as a kickoff for um, thrift shop hauls um, or thrifting hauls, I have to come up with a name for it, um, I'm going to do a haul of my entire teacher wardrobe so you guys can see all the really cool stuff um, that I found at the Salvation Army for my wardrobe for the school year. So I'm hoping to record that on Monday. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be in New York City with my sister before she leaves for Ireland. <laughs> So Sean and I are taking the train down early tomorrow morning and I'm going to spend the day with her. But on Monday, I'm going to hopefully record this thrift shop haul and this teacher wardrobe thrift shop haul and then I will have that guys um, hopefully up for you Monday night at some point, Monday evening, Monday night. Thank you guys so much for watching the first vlog haul as thrifted living, which is so weird. I'm so used to saying newlywed with Sean and Kieran. Um, and thank you guys for subscribing and liking and sharing, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!